Welcome back. This tutorial is going to show you how you can create your Twitter banner. First, go ahead, open Canva, and let's add a new page. We're going to start off with the shape that's a rectangle. I recommend going down first and then going across to get that thicker border. Then we're going to add another, um, let me scroll up here. Yes, so another square block that is filled and go ahead and choose your color. This one we can expand right across and then move it up to get that thin border. All right, let's move it where we want it. Now let's go ahead and add our text. Here is, I'm gonna go ahead and put Tashika McKinney and I am going to change the font to match what I have up top. I'm going to make this bigger, bold, add some effects to it, and I am going to space out the letters a little bit. Now that we have this set, I'm going to go ahead and add more text. And this is going to be that with your teacher essentials. I am going to go ahead and change this font as well. Now, if you look at the top, you're going to notice that it's kind of an overlay of white on top of black. All I did was went ahead, stretched the black, changed the font. And then once I had it how I wanted it, I just duplicated it. And then I changed that color font to white and then just moved it over a little bit. Now that we have that set, let's go ahead and add our tagline, your creativity lives within. Again, we're just gonna change that font, adjust the size and change the color. Now let's go ahead, go to elements and we're gonna type in iPhone. Now this is really important that you choose an iPhone um, that has the frame inside of it. That way when we drop our picture into it, it is going to um, make sure it's the exact size to fit the phone. I am just selecting a random image that I am going to drop in here. So notice when I drag it in, it locks into place. So that's why we want an iPhone with a frame. So here, just resizing it, and then I am going to turn it around just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to use the effects feature so I can remove the background. I'm gonna resize it so that it's large. Awesome. Our very last step we're, gonna, step, we're gonna go back to Elements and we're gonna get all of our social media logos. I'm just dropping these all in and I'm gonna change the color and resize them last.
here's our final product. Um, everything is here. One thing that I definitely want to recommend is when you are downloading it, um, make sure that it's PNG and you want to change that size all the way up to three so that you have the highest resolution. All right. Thank you.